everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Did I quit in the middle of the f I did quit in the middle of the freaking ending last time. Because I was getting ready for the NLSS. God dang it. Well, we'll finish off our Maggie run. That was also already incredible. And then, I remember we had Hive Mind like Dark Judas Guppy. So we are fine here. And uh, then I will make my way in the world today. And we'll do Arcane Run, which I'm excited for. I believe that the boss was over here. I hate when I do this. But you can test this out for yourself. You know, quit the game or Alt F for it in the middle of the freaking uh, ending. And it will bring you back to that screen. I'm not sure. I was like, well, then I hesitate to tell people because they could use it as an exploit. They could quit right as they're dying. And then, well, you, would, you don't get the ending if you're dying. So... I don't think that's how it works. And now I've completely forgotten which way to go, and this is uh, totally acceptable. But that's alright, we're still balling out of control here. It's uh, kind of nice to have this as a palate cleanser slash warm up here, but anyway. People are going to be like, why don't you just like not do this ever again? And the answer is that I try, man, but sometimes, as soon as I finish a run, I'm like, man, I've really got to go use the little boy's room. And it just, it takes precedent. Didn't I have Book of Shadows? Or am I thinking, uh... Wait a minute. You know what? This was not the last run. You can go back. Okay, my brain. This is actually going to reveal how much backlog I have. Because this is the run that was uh, on the NLSS. This was the Azazel run that I did on Monday's NLSS. Monday, July 13th. Where I became Dark Judas with Guppy and Hive Mind. That's why I was like, I remember talking about Book of Shadows. What's up with that? But yeah, I did an Azazel run when Nick was done with his, uh, or w before Nick was done with his run. And we're playing that. So, you know, in case you didn't like that VOD, here you go. You get to see it again. Alright, Blue Baby is going to die here very, very easily. That explains it, because then I was probably like, okay, finally, we're like 10 minutes late. Let's switch to Quiplash. Alright, my brain. I'm ready. It's still Monday, July 13th. That's why I have such a memory for this son, I think recorded nuclear throne after the stream fantastic so our streak is actually gonna be a little higher I guess I forgot to play it on the third file it's gonna be one higher I think that's one higher maybe I don't remember it doesn't matter it's cane run time I'm excited just pull that one off the top of the streak because that shouldn't be there anyway but I've started talking a lot less about the streak because a streak of four is not really much of a streak at all we can start, you know, crunching the numbers when we get back up into the, the double and maybe, God forbid, even triple digits. Triple dipple D's, as Guy Fieri likes to say. Okay, you, I'm going to need you to pop out this room. Yo, Ed, I'm going to use the red phone on my desk to call you because this room is horse hockey and I hate it. And uh, if these rooms show up on the dailies, people are going to be real salty about it. And these flies are the worst enemies in history. Let's go into our curse room because it's the first floor and we have that uh, other spirit heart that we can pick up and we got some extra spirit heart action anyway, so it's also worth it. Big room time. We are going to stay as far back as we possibly can, which is nice. And uh, what do I like about Kane? Does he start with a higher rate of fire or am I uh, having a miniature stroke right now? I think I might be having a miniature stroke right now. Um, and I'm not talking of the, you know, cerebral... Encephalitis, uh, cerebral infarction, that's what I was going for, variety. That was meant to be a joke about masturbation, but instead I got muddled in this, like, pseudo Grey's Anatomyism, and, you know, here we are now, talking about diphtheria. In the midst of a hospital where all the doctors spend all their times fucking each other instead of fighting infection. Anyway, I like his eye patch, like, that's pretty cool. When I was, uh, younger, I didn't get glasses, in case you didn't know I wear glasses. Um, but I didn't get glasses until I was in fifth grade and I was constantly like man I can't really see the board and then I would go see my doctor and he'd be like ah your eyes are fine You know you probably will never be oh good You'll probably never be like a jet pilot or anything like that, but your eyes are okay I think he was my doctor at that point was probably born in like the 1910s So he maybe was like a little bit old school He cut his uh, teeth in the first world war I mean literally he cut his teeth because back then they were made out of literal wood um, can't do anything with that judgment, but I figured we're going to take Emperor down anyway, so. Um, but when I actually got my eyes tested, 
by a uh, like a real optometrist. He's like, man, your vision's all sorts of fucked up. We can give you glasses, or if you want to try to correct it to 2020, we can just give you an eye patch and you wear it over your strong eye, and your weak eye will like learn to be stronger because it's a muscle, you know, it'll get stronger. And I was like, like my parents left me with the choice, and I was like, I am not gonna be. You know, the kid in fifth, because kids are mean. Like, if you're wearing an eye patch to school right now, I don't feel bad, or sorry, I, I feel bad for saying this, but if you're, I'm gonna get made fun of for wearing an eye patch to school, you know? I am not um, a character from the Kill Bill franchise, and as a result, Kill Bill it didn't even exist at that point, but as a result, um, I am gonna have to say, you know what? No eye patch for now, I'll just wear glasses. Lots of people wear glasses, the eye patch is a little bit more of a niche fashion item. I really hope we can snag a deal with the devil on this floor. Uh, I'm not really proving the concept of this run very well. Scapular is fine, maybe even great. Uh, Cube of Meat is awesome because our damage is kind of shitty. Butterbean is obviously like super trashed here. Super massive trash hole. Which is also the name that I've given to a certain part of your mother. That is not... I'm sorry. I'm not sorry is what I meant to say. Um, I do want that pill, but it's fine. We are gonna get this deal with the devil unless this enemy truly fucks us. And it is pinned, so I would not expect that to happen. I'm extremely tempted to use my orbital here, and I will. We gotta be cautious about it, though. Yeah, we gotta do like that. That was actually perfect, because we don't want the, um, the bomb that pin shoots to go off of our cube of meat, because if it goes off of our cube of meat, it'll explode on contact and put us in a bit of a tricky spot. But that worked out completely fine. Squeezy is really gonna help out and we don't have to worry about like the ramifications of taking it before this deal with the devil We'll totally take little brimstone. I think that's two runs in a row that we've had it now If I remember correctly, which apparently I don't uh, Let's go do a little bit more exploration. This one has the the possibility to get pretty darn good pretty darn quickly here Little brimstone is the item du jour which is uh, the item of the day if I remember correctly and we're actually doing quite a nice number on these enemies now. I would love it if the rest of the floor was just like some consumables. If that was the the maximum, you know, goodness that we got from the rest of the floor, I would be pleased. Let's set ourselves up nicely for the next floor. Of course, now that I see a tinted rock and a secret room, my eyes have wide or a cursor, my eyes have widened and I'm like, "Uh, -huh, no, that I'm um, sorry, that's not going to be good enough." What's actually going to have to be good enough for us is all guppy pieces and also we're rich. So we got swallowed penny. Fine, because we don't have a, a different uh, trinket to take its place right now. I'm gonna try to see if we can snag like the quarter. Pretty unlikely from one pot. That's okay. Might as well take Swallowed Penny. I was hoping for a second bomb, so maybe we could uh, bomb our way into the curse room. We still could if there's bombs on our secret room, but we missed our secret room. But I will sacrifice one Spirit Heart to check this out, and it was well worth it in my opinion, and actually one of the situations where we should have gone in here earlier because paid out right away. Um, well, if that is not the secret room, this is probably the secret room. And inside of here we find six more cents. Enough to make a shop decent, uh, but not necessarily incredible. So I'm gonna save our money and hopefully we'll be able to get a good shop going on the next floor. What I want to avoid is that permanent, like, there's no way to make this sound nice, but I want to avoid the poverty cycle where you go into a shop and you're like, well, I can't afford an item, so I'll buy the spirit heart. And then by buying the spirit heart, you can never afford an item. Definitely, we, I'm just going to use Pandora's box, like right now. See what we get. It's experimental treatment. I'm going to give it a shot. It did give us HP. I think it did lower our rate of fire. It, it's also made our eyes a little strange. I don't think, uh... I don't think anyone would necessarily dispute that. We are blinking, even though our eye is also just right there. Uh, and honestly, I'm very tempted to just use my Emperor card, like, right now. But I'm going to resist said temptation because uh, it's not that valuable for us right now. It was just, that was my laziness talking. We're already going pretty quickly, so. I, I really like that there's a timer in the game, because it helps me put a, an objective measure on like my tendency to be a little lazy or like misrepresent the amount of time that I've spent. Because I could be like, oh, it seems like this is taking forever, but we can just check, and it actually hasn't. So I think it keeps me in check a little bit more. It's like, uh, I got like treadmill time going, which is the phenomenon. Oh, maybe we'll teleport out of this one seems reasonable, is the phenomenon where, you know, when you're on a treadmill, time goes twice as slow. You think you've been on it for ten minutes, but it's actually only been like a minute and a half. We're getting a little treadmill time. 
Her hands are never cold. She's been working on treadmill time. That's uh, that was intended to be Betty Davis eyes, but it's uh, didn't necessarily hold it down. So I'm just gonna keep this up here. Lost a lot more HP than I'd normally be comfortable with. Latch key pretty much allows us to get it back, I guess, which is nice, but I'm looking for a, a good active item from our shop, so you probably don't need me to tell you what those are, but just in case, let's say blank card and red blue candle. Either one is fine by me. I will probably take that on our way back. I do think that um, I, I have like a, some latent guilt, professor latent guilt over um, previously underrating the pushpin, and the pushpin's actually pretty solid, and I kind of shit on it for a while. I'll take Samson's lock for now. Unless, are we on run Caves 1, not Caves 2? Okay. If it was Caves 2, I would have stuck with Swallowed Penny temporarily just to see if we got, um... Ooh, I should not have been there. Just to see if we got, um... A Blood Bank? But without a Blood Bank, it's not as useful. Bad dodging. I've actually... I'm pretty proud most of the time of the way that I handle this room. This might not be one of those times. Although that went really, really well. But it's mostly a little brimstone. It's not really uh, my dodging factoring into it so much. Good enough. I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Little brimstone still our principal damage dealer. Oh, we got a red chest out of it. And a lot of money, actually. Spirit hearts. Guppy item. Spiders? Spiders are they're up there, man. Okay, compass is good. This is good. Let's try the pill. Full health, that's fine. Put ourselves in the poverty cycle, but it was worth it, I think, to, to get the compass, even though we are on a Curse of the Lost Floor. So we still got an item room available to us. Didn't quite get what we wanted from the shop, but that's okay. Other shop items that would really uh, tickle my fancy right now. By the way, what is the fancy? I don't know. I know that in the song she says, you already know she's in the fast lane from LA to Tokyo. Um, but that's a, a little bit less relevant, I think, than what I was going for here. That's almost certainly our secret room. Just a, it's a good skill, I think, to have. Because I used to try to, like, pull out the mental cartographer, as I like to call it. Oh, you know what? Now that I look at it, I don't think that is a secret room. Now that I pull out the mental cartographer, but, um, which is my favorite Halo level. Uh, but uh, it's a good skill to have to recognize those secret room templates just for Curse of the Lost situations. I know this is the one item, chat. This is the one item. I refuse to go for, even in a zany situation. It still was the secret room, somewhat amazingly. I don't want to have to go back through that room, so if we can just go this way instead, that would be awesome. Have we already been all the way down this way? We haven't been there. And then we teleported with the Emperor card, that's correct. Um, other items that would tickle my fancy. Definitely the uh, BFFs. I'm trying to use the correct preferred nomenclature, if you will. BFFs would be quite excellent, given that we have a good familiar and also uh, a single orbital. Gotta admit, you know, little brimstone and uh, the orbital helping us carry this floor pretty nicely. I'm actually, you know, just despite the fact that we haven't really improved our damage that much, the run is going fine as a result of pretty much the intangibles now. Bet you couldn't think what I command you to. Panoramic view. Look, I'll make you all manage. I don't remember the entire song, but, uh, no. I, I had my gorillas phase. Not that I ever really got out of it. Um, it's just been a while since they released an album, I think. Super fast jellyfish is pretty dope, man. Uh, one bomb can take us to 15 cents, but I don't think it's, like, super necessary. One bomb can take us to 16 cents, but I don't think it's super necessary. Although, I do think... We should put a bomb, like, here. Might be able to get both the secret room and the sense. We didn't get the sense, but we did get the secret room, and that was well worth it. I still, you know, we don't need this. Hopefully, we'll have a shop, on, or sorry, well, a shop for sure. We could blow up the donation machine if there's no greed. Hopefully, we'll have an arcade we can play. I gotta keep the talk a little strategic for now, just because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's still a little touch and go. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes I like to uh, guess at the, um... Etymologies of idioms. I guess it's not really an etymology, but you know, like the origins of idioms. I think touch and go is like, uh, it's a flying term, which is like when you land and then immediately take off right after. So it's touch and go. It's like, you know, you can't just, you know, sit on your laurels for a while. I think that's where that comes from. I may be mistaken. 
Uh, we got another Curse of the Lost, which is bullshit if you ask me, but it is what it is. I would love to get the left hand here. As much as I like, not love, as much as I like um, the push pin, I do think the left hand is a lot better. Has the potential to be a lot better, at least. Got an item room that contains the relic. This is a much better uh, follower for us than Isaac's heart. Much appreciated. You know what would be kind of cool? What if there was an item or a trinket? Maybe is a better uh, use of this, but what if there was a trinket in Rebirth that gave you access to better items the more item rooms you skipped? Like, the less item rooms you even went into, the higher pool it put you in. or like the, So you would get from, like, shitty pool. I don't know if this, there's actually a designation for shitty items in the game. Um, eventually taking you, like, all the way up to special items that are awesome. You know, brimstone, etc., etc. Maybe it would actually be too easy, even though it sounds like it would be too difficult. Because, like, if it's skip five items to get one special item, it's well worth it. Brimstone is worth more than, like, most other item permutations, probably. I am keeping the, Kerm the Kermit... The Kermit... Kermit Defrog here. I am, uh... Sounded like Quill there for a second. I am keeping the Hermit card. My intention there is to, uh... Probably use that... That looks like a secret room. Probably use that to, uh, try to get out of boss rush, but there's a chance we might not even have that opportunity. Uh, if that's the case, we'll just use it to maybe get out of a curse room. Pheromones. Lockdown. Eh, it could be worse. It obviously could be better, but it could be worse as well. Ooh, scary. Plenty of keys, not a whole heck of a lot of anything else. Um, can we? Let's try this. Look, maybe it was worth a shot. <laughs> I, I blew it up. Um, you know what? I am going to walk over there to try to get the rune. I blew it up with... Um, we want to hold on to this. I blew it up with uh, Butterbean to try to get it, but it didn't work. The gauze. It was worth it, weirdly enough. Kind of not the enormous coup that I was expecting there, but hey, it's, it's all right. So this allows us to at least see the kinds of runes that are here, because we have the compass, so... Uh, we have no blood bank, which means we will not be able to access the boss trap room. So we will probably just start working our way towards this boss fight now, where we would be expecting to have a decent chance at a deal with the devil. But a deal with the devil uh, that, that has a pretty decent chance in and of itself to be a Krampus fight. So let's not get our hopes too high yet. This could be our... Uh, Second secret room. Oh, that's amazing. If we start recognizing second secret room templates before the room that we would normally expect them to be in, that feels good, man. Oh, I don't know. My senses are tingling today. If we pick up Dark Bum here, that is a payday and a half, but we got to get through the boss fight first, so let's not get too cocky. It is the husk. All right, now we can get cocky. The husk is pretty freaking easy. Oh, and that's what I get for being cocky there. Torn Photo is a great upgrade. Unfortunately, no uh, deal with the devil, so we'll head down to the next floor. We're a little ahead of the clock, but I don't think that we're really a little ahead of the clock, if you know what I mean. Oh, there's a guppy item. Would you rather fight these enemies or teleport away from these enemies and into the curse room? Or out of the curse room, I should say. I think I'd rather teleport out of the curse room to save the guaranteed loss of HP. But it's not a 100% easy choice, because some of these enemies will do one full heart if they touch us, but they didn't, so life's good. Oh. Curse room's also a little further away. I would like to free up the, the card slot, though, so we could at least hold something else in there. Great stuff. Two pills. Both I found pills, not a particular coup. Uh, we do have a dice room, so maybe we shouldn't get... That was a great hit. We shouldn't get too attached to our run here. It's always possible that it's not going to last too long. We have more than enough keys to do it, so I don't even have an excuse. We're just going to... We're going to hope that it's a good six, a good one, a four, or a five. Of all the dice rooms, the two is the most hated. Because it's like, come on, what are you even wasting my time for? You know, I don't even get out of bed for a two room anymore. Reroll the items or the consumables on the ground in that room only. That's like, well, there's six pips on a regular dice, but we can't think of six things that we'd like to put on them. Ah, just throw them something. They'll figure it out. Okay, getting good on bombs here. I appreciate this. Teratomo, uh, sorry, buddy, but when he got over a, a gap there, it was pretty difficult for me to not, you know, 
send him on the train to oblivion. And I am not going to meet him at the station, Davy Jones. Probably should have been hit there. And uh, probably shouldn't have come in here to begin with. If we'd known what was in it, we probably wouldn't. But we got a nice little consumable hit regardless. Access to our shop. And uh, knowledge of a dead end, I guess, which is somewhat valuable in and of itself. And I don't think we're going to be able to, you know, get into that uh, boss rush, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. We're only one room away from those double keys. I should go back and pick them up. That's just laziness if we don't do that. Not that it would be the first time. Uh, okay, not very smart damage on my part. That's all right. You got to get a couple of those out per video, otherwise it, people would start to think that it wasn't me that was actually playing. Even though there are some people who already think that, which is kind of hilarious. But anyway. Let me... I, I'm going to, you know, blow open the doors on that conspiracy theory. The Isaac episodes, as of right now, are like... If it's a 45-minute Isaac episode... I do like this, but I want to see what's in this room first here. If, if it's a 45-minute Isaac episode, I don't want to reroll that item. I'd rather reroll Butterbean, but I don't have a choice to reroll Butterbean, so... I guess we'll wait and see if we can get something to reroll on the boss fight, because the four room can be interesting. Um, if it's a 45 minute Isaac run, that represents like an hour of work. 15 minutes for various uploading, setting the meta tag, the, the description of the tags and stuff like that. Any conspiracy theory that causes me to take more time than that to make an Isaac episode is not gonna happen. Like I used to see this conspiracy theory like, oh, and I, I, by the way, by saying this conspiracy theory, please don't take this as me lending credence to this theory. It was back when Dark Souls 2 came out, there were people like, PewDiePie, he doesn't play Dark Souls 2, he just has somebody that's good at the game play it, and then he pays them and edits the footage together himself. I was like, you have a job! Think about his job. His job is playing video games, talking about them while he plays them, and, and cracking jokes, making people laugh, and then editing the footage together and putting it on YouTube. He is literally... In your conspiracy theory, he's outsourcing the best part of his job, so he just becomes a video editor. Like, you gotta pull some Occam's razor on this shit, man. Like, that conspiracy theory makes no sense. Uh, we will take Dark Bomb. I think that's it. I think we'll just take Dark Bomb here. Um, and we'll use our four room just in case it keeps the deal with the devil open, I, though I don't know that it will. Like, here's the secret. I'm lazy. It turns out that the actual, like, best way to be lazy is to just do your own work, because then I don't have to deal with other people. It makes your life a lot easier. Once you start factoring in meetings and stuff, and, oh, do you have that footage that I requested? Sneak, sneak. Yeah, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Why would why would PewDiePie play someone to do the best part of his job for him? It doesn't make any freaking sense, is all I'm trying to say here. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Also, it's not like he loses any, like, people are going to be like, oh, PewDiePie sucks at Dark Souls 2, I'm not going to watch him anymore, I don't know. He's got a huge audience that likes him for what he does. I'm not uh, passing this as a character judgment, rather just hopefully um, illustrating why that conspiracy theory is kind of uh, hilarious to me. Anyway, if it was true, I would be, I would actually, I would try to say this to him, I'd be like, why are you outsourcing the best part of your job, dog? You got to strike a work-life balance, you, you fucked it up right there. That's, that's how you do YouTube as a job if you hate video games. Just get somebody else to play them for you, I guess. Um, I've got this moon card. I'm hoping... You know what? We actually can see the boss, but now that I look at it, there's no way we're getting there in time. We could have almost swung it, but instead of, like, probably compromising the quality of the run to get there, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna say that I'm not that concerned about it. Firemind. I, I dislike this item to some extent. It's had a lot of coincidences with uh, with runs that were very dangerous. Temperance card is great. Let's get the hell out of this room, though. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take it. And I think I, I do need to practice with it a little bit. So that this is a good opportunity to do so on a run that appears relatively good right now. So we're going to do it like that. It works. We got to be... Oh, we got to be like very fast about it. <laughs> But it does work. Oh, we got IV bag out of it. So actually, with IV bag, we can do like... Oh, we should probably keep moving in the same direction if we're going to make that one work. Okay, IV bag, I guess, beats Butterbean just because Butterbean is terrible and basically worthless. So um, we will take it. Good. HP, I appreciate it. This... Oh, we have scapular. So can I not like... 
Well, I know I can, but we can use scapular effectively here. Um... Ah, why are we not fast enough now? No, we get hung up for a minute there. What is this one? Are you a wizard? I mean, we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Let's just get it off the ground. I'm gonna try to blow these up for maybe like a full health or something. Was there other one? We had the moon. I don't think the moon card is that valuable. Uh, let's have little brimstone. Well, actually, with are you a wizard, we can just use blue baby's only friend, and it don't matter. It don't matter to me. Whatever you happen to be. I would love you. I forget the rest of the song. That's if I were a gorilla by uh, by Raffy. If I were a gorilla, da -da 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 -da. Uh, I would actually probably say that it's the second best gorilla-based song. And I'm not talking about the gorillas. I'm talking about a song that's based on gorillas. Uh, the best one is obviously. You know, he's finally here, and about time too. He's the newest member of the DK crew. You know, we, we, we all know the rest of it, of course. That is not full health. Um, it's okay. I mean, I'm not particularly bent out of shape about it. Maybe we'll have the opportunity to donate here. And actually, I'm glad that we said no to boss rush. Don't rush! That was meant to be a reference to the classic YouTube video, Don't Cuss. You all remember that one. And, um... I think it failed miserably. But this way we can get into our boss trap room and uh, obviously we want to make the effort to go to our shop as well. So we will do so. We got a decent haul of spirit hearts left and we also, I'll go back for that. We also picked up goat head and goat head is like, it's a pretty considerable item for us. Especially considering we have one guppy piece and no more. Um, it would really, really be nice to augment that with a little bit of extra action. Trying to like, Aim this while also charging little brimstone. It's not as easy as you might expect. Man, two I found pills. Somebody up there is a huge fan of me. There we go. All right, what comes next? Loki. Not a good little brimstone shot. Yo, those bombs are pushing Blue Baby's only friend out of the way. Obviously, our ideal shop here is BBF. And I've been saying that for a while, but it's even better now because with Blue Baby's only friend, uh, BBF, sorry, BBF's is all of a sudden uh, extremely valuable and uh, we can use that for the rest of the game. We might be using Blue Baby's only friend for the rest of the game anyway. To, to pull the veil back on that one, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Two red chests I'm very excited about. I mean, left hand combined with uh, contract from below should be a pretty good chance of getting more guppy items outside of curse rooms and, you know, all the other nonsense. Um, I'm gonna buy this too. Let's donate as much money as we can. I mean, we don't really need any other consumables. As much money as we can is not really a lot. Let's see if we can bomb our way into some other goodness here. No, that's fine as well. All right, let's, let's move along. I mean, we got nothing else to do here. Guppy? Not Guppy. Not, you are not a cat. You are spirit hearts. I appreciate that. Okay. Just take a quick pass around here. Ooh, we already have a full deal with the devil chance. But honestly, I would like to see what I get there. One key is not really worth it, but at least we did intercept it. It's not not worth it. It's not really worth it either. All right. Blow up these just to see if we get something half decent. Okay. We got bombs, so I'm thinking we'll blow up these and see if we can get something half decent. I want the Demon Judgment more than I want the payout from the Blood Bank, so I'm gonna make sure I get his plays twice. Fool card, not that valuable. Okay, we're gonna blow up our Blood Bank. Half a Red Heart, that's two more plays. And that's great, Growth Hormones is fantastic. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's get a move on here. Low on HP, that's obviously a real danger. But it is what it is, you know? We're in the situation. I think this one is actually going to be a little, that was dumb, but I think it's going to be a little easier to use um, Blue Baby's, or sorry, uh, our Tears plus Little Brimstone. Although I keep finding myself just off center, I got to slow down a little bit. There we go, that's more along the lines of what I'm looking for. Little Brimstone in particular is going to be a nice little damage helper here. It's a little hard to get them at the same interval here, but, oh! Yeah, that was bad damage. I got a little over-aggressive there. 
Fuck that one up, something fierce. Oh, that's a good opportunity. And the fire would help out even more if we can get the eye to poke up again. That was very dumb. Come on. Oh, it fell in between the fire. That's no good at all. Uh, I'll pick this up. I think I need it more than the Dark Bomb needs it. Guppy items, guppy items, guppy, not guppy items. Are you a wizard? Health down, not that bad. Pheromones. Range up. I have no idea what that sound was, but it scared the hell out of me. I thought it was our fire alarm at first, but uh, it was not. It was my wife. It was the wife alarm. Okay, uh, I'm. We could take advantage of the uh, mob trap room, but I'm kind of like I'm in that weird position where I'm like not strong enough to want to explore everything. Sorry, I want this. The, you get the rest of them. I promise, Dark Bomb. I'm not strong enough to want to explore everything, but. Also, you don't get any stronger by not exploring, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like the classic problem of learning a new skill. I'm, it's like learning to play EU4 or something like that. I'm not good enough to know what I'm doing right now, so I'm not having that much fun, but I have to do it in order to have fun with it later. I have to put in this time right now. And that's, you know, part of the reason those games are so rewarding is because you've invested that time when you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, and then... I don't know why I was doing a didgeridoo impression there. But it worked out okay either way. Yo, this would be a great time for Fire Mind to actually freaking work. Yeah, get those fires on the ground. There's a party going down. Twister, the hot spot. This way, um, we can actually do some damage to them as they run away. Oh, there's the good stuff. I'm gonna admit I'm just a little lazy, so I'm gonna take this right here. We could have waited until maybe we took uh, everything from our deals with the devil. Because they are gonna cost us HP, and then we would have gotten one HP back. Again, one of those plays that I think, well, it's useful, but I also think it's it's cuter than it is useful. But it's not one of those plays that is cute and useless. It's actually um, a little bit of laziness on my part, holding me back to the melody of roll it slow, but now I gotta get up in it fast, and etc, etc. Got a nice little melange of damage dealing ability here. Wow, that went better than it should have. Ah, uh, it sucks a little bit, but it means that in the end it didn't make a difference whether we picked up nine lives first or last. Uh, and honestly, I'm gonna take White Pony with us. I think that active flying items get a little bit of a bad rap because there's so many passive flying items. But we don't have any passive flying items, so I'm gonna take the active flying item and that's gonna really speed up our roll here. Hey, if you can slow your roll, you can speed it up, dog. That's all I'm saying. Okay, we still got pheromones. That's a, an enormous uh, bag full of nothingness that probably is unlikely to help or hurt us at any point over the course of this run. This would be a great opportunity to give us that second guppy item. Mm, and by second, I mean third, but that's okay. Great uh, combination of items for taking out the fistula. Fistula. We, we have Chub next, I think, so honestly, I don't really want to use... Uh, pheromones against Chubb either, like, we're gonna tear Chubb up, we've got, basically, the fire is just a version of the creep that's like, really, really centered and does a lot of damage, or really, really narrow and does a lot of damage, that does well against Chubb, as does piercing shots, and we got two different varieties of freaking piercing shots, there we go, dog, that's Guppy right there, so we actually don't need the white pony, so we could've, joke's on us, we could've kept IV bag right now, don't I feel like a, like a joker, now, um, this is, uh, it's a good situation. Obviously with Guppy we have, uh, no risk of a loss, so this one's gonna end up being in the win column for us here. And I don't really have anything much more to say than that, so thanks for watching! I hope you guys enjoyed- No, I'm not gonna stop the episode here, I'm just saying. You know, we we made the guppy uh, dream happen here, and I think that's a rare guppy dream because we didn't get any guppy items on a deal with the devil, if I remember correctly. They were all from uh, red chests that we found randomly, and that's uh, I'm not gonna say that's all thanks to left hand, but you got to imagine that it's like a pretty large degree thanks to left hand. So thank you, left hand, and maybe to a certain extent, contract from below as well. That curse room had a little bit more uh, oomph to it than I previously would have expected. What's the value of keeping Guppy's Paw? Well, every HP upgrade that we find gives us three Spirit Hearts. And since I sort of classify Spirit Hearts and regular Hearts as being roughly worth the same at this point in the game, it depends what items you've got, but um, I uh, I feel like that's a huge... It, we basically triple our survivability, plus we stay in permanent Polaroid invincibility, so... 
Plus we have Dark Bomb, plus, 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 you know, there's a lot of things going on for us right now, in a very positive way. It lives. Should not be much of an issue. I'm just gonna charge up a shot and let uh, Blue Baby's only friend do most of the damage up there. That's okay, that's okay. We got a nice little Fire Mine bit of damage in there. I think I gotta choose between Little Brimstone and uh, Blue Baby's only friend. And I'm gonna choose Little Brimstone out of that because it's easier for me to fire at the same time with Little Brimstone and uh, my own tears. Because otherwise I'm charging like in two different directions, my hand starts to hurt, it's just a, it's a mess, man. But Blue Baby's only friend has been uh, very useful for us over the course of this run. I'm always happy to have it tag along, man. Eh, it might do a little bit more damage when we shoot, but uh, it's it's not a huge difference one way or the other. We could win this with Blue Baby's only friend. Also, the fact that we summon flies, I think, pushes it a little in favor of using our tears more. And by a little, I mean like fucking all in favor of using our tears more. Might as well take what Josh would call the Pope hat. There's probably some Isaac superstar out there who could use both, but uh, it is not me. Best thing I can do is maybe get like an easy uh, start with Blue Baby's only friend, and then just, you know, do a little bit of damage with it, and that'll be that. I guess we're gonna go down here. Pope hat. Wait, do we have the relic as well? Yeah, we do have the relic. So we have relic, miter, guppy's paw, dark bung. Scapular. I have a feeling we're probably gonna be fine when it comes to our spirit hearts on this run. Maybe we won't get one every single room. And also we're fighting a lot of enemies who are blue, which is, well, no we're not. We're fighting one enemy who's blue. Let's not get over the top here, but any enemy that's blue is a friend of mine. We should, uh, drop the left hand so I don't forget about it. People will probably play some bets in the comments. And you know what? If you bet on me, I want you to be rewarded for that. So enjoy your spoils. To the, to the, those with confidence go the spoils. That is shitty damage that I hate to take. Oh, stop with this. Nonsense, you, you freaking joker here. I'm doing like no damage to you. I know I could leave, but it's about the principle of it now. There, he stood still for a second and I managed to finally kill him. Uh, and then we're gonna have to fight him again, I think, because I am an idiot. Is this correct? No, he, he was dead, thankfully. Any enemy that we can actually hit is, uh, is a friend of ours as well. Good, good, good. I wasn't sure if I could bait him into doing that attack first off, so. I'm very thankful about this one as well. Yeah, just uh, stay there, that's fine. A little bit of extra damage, and we are about to head this down to the, uh, to the chest after this fight. What comes next uh, is Judas. After the chest of this run will be Judas, and that run scares me a little bit when it comes to going around the horn. Not a ton, because if we can just get a little HP early, it's fine. And it ended up that the run on the streak that killed us was not um, what I figured it would be, which is a Judas run or a really low HP Eden run. So maybe I'm getting you know bent out of shape or concerned for all the wrong reasons. Maybe it's not necessary. However, I do think starting with low HP is one of the easiest ways to die in the early game, unless you just play absolutely horribly, which has happened from time to time as well. It, all things considered, this is a pretty good haul. The Soul's good, Mini Mush, Mysterious Liquid, Gish, they're all good items. The Soul is uh, probably the best at this point for the bullet dodging capability. It's not a huge difference in our HP. I actually like the extra speed and range as a result of Mini Mush as well because we do have a lump of coal. So we probably get like a small extra damage bonus out of that is my guess. What's our luck stat like? like we're oh, we could get 18 lives here. Which would actually give us the ability to get some more HP as well, but um, we're playing as Kane, so I'm assuming my luck stat is not terrible. Lucky Foot does give you a start. I think we had a luck down, but I also think we got a luck up, so... No, stop hitting! Ultra Pride! Ah, uh, we just got a card. It is the credit card, though. We could buy anything from our deal with the devil with a credit card. Great stuff. Okay. Uh, we will take Mr. Mega. Why not, basically? God, I hate, uh, Curse of the Lost, man. Sometimes it gets so salty that I don't even want to buy, uh, Compass and Map. But I will. I always come back to it one way or the other. Oh. 
I really did not think I could be hit there. <laughs> I was like, the invincibility will protect me. It did not protect me. Stay alert, stay safe. Okay, I probably didn't pick the safest position, but sometimes the safest position is where the enemy doesn't expect you'll be, which is sometimes right next to them completely within their field of view and uh, probably in a position that's likely to actually get you killed, but didn't because of the aforementioned principle. Hoarder is, again, like, there's no reason to have it, there's no reason not to have it. There's a lot of items like that at this point in the game for us. HP's doing fine. I mean, I would like to hemorrhage a little bit less than we're hemorrhaging. Haunt, I just bought your ass with a credit card, okay? I would like, uh, clean my car. You're not, you're not on my tempo. Okay, just, ooh, be a little scared, and I had a feeling we shouldn't be that scared, but that's okay. Boss fight? No boss fight, it's a freaking dead end. I have no idea where we're going. One of the easy, I'm saltier now than I am in like any other situation in this game, except for Kamikaze Pyro, no ability to die, but no ability to truly live either. Um, please allow me to, to finish this run. I, I desire it. Every dead end causes the salt coefficient to grow. My doctor told me, lower my sodium intake. But I'm, what about my sodium outtake, doctor? What about my sodium outtake? I guess we gotta go to the right here. Uh, probably a foolish decision, because I think I should focus on killing Sloth last to get the tarot card. Could be Emperor. Could be Bob's Rodden Head. Which, to be honest with you, there's no real reason not to take. Three Mega Fatty Room is not so bad, especially when they all actually just stay in a line with one another. That makes my life super easy. And really, they're just trading off on, you know, who gets the flies next. This guy tried a little sneaky deaky move prior to the end there. Don't see that all that often. Um, honestly, maybe Bob's Curse. We could drop some bombs against Blue Baby if they desire. Bombs on Blue Baby. I actually, I, I could recite to you maybe like the first big boy verse in Bombs Over Baghdad. Um, but I'm, I'm going to restrain myself. But suffice it to say, yes, I did ever think a pimp could rock a microphone. P-I-M-P-C. Oh, no, sorry, I, I was doing it wrong. It's from uh, International Players Anthem. He actually says, Pimp C B U N B. That's it. Because Bun B is the other member of the Underground Kings. Anyway. This is the longest chest we've had in uh, quite some time. Kind of feel like singing some We've Only Just Begun, but that's okay because we haven't only just begun. We're actually coming fairly close to the end here. And if we could just get as many flipping flies as possible into the belly of the beast here. Thank you. Love when those uh, explosion shots just die in the wall. I call them explosion shots because if you have Pyromaniac, you are immune to them, which is unusual, but also very welcomed. No extra chests, man. Little surprise, little perturbed. Ooh, a guppy's head. Just in time to give us three extra flies for the boss fight when we already have something better. But I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to hope that the soul and permanent Polaroid invincibility basically carry us. And it is it is working out marvelously to date. Just because this is a little bit more of a novel way to handle the fight. You are deceased, and I am happy. Thanks! There's a fly. Let's make sure we've hit the space bar on this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.